So I'm a pretty typical straight white male, so I haven't really like overcome any adversity. <laughs> I've definitely undercome quite a few advantages. So. <laughs> I have a feel of failure, so I don't really do anything I know of fail at. But I also have a fear of success, so I don't do anything I know of to see that. <laughs> I would say I do things where I know the outcome is uncertain, but I also have a fear of the unknown, so I guess I just don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's alpha males and beta males. Meanwhile, I'm an omega male. I am the last male anybody wants to sleep with. <laughs> like him less, like him less. <laughs> am I doing good? Everyone doing fine? <laughs> I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. I, I actually don't really care how you guys are doing. I'm not really much for small talk. I tend to avoid it like women avoid me. <laughs> Yeah, I can like go outside and see the weather. I don't need you guys to tell me what it is. I don't give a fuck about your kids. And I probably hate my your job more than I hate my own, so yeah. I'm also not like emotionally vulnerable enough for like large talk, I guess. <laughs> so I just prefer like medium talk, you know. Like who was your third grade crush? Mine was myself. <laughs> What's your fifth biggest fear? What are your thoughts on season three, episode 13 of Arrested Development? Yeah. <laughs> talk. So I used to be a dishwasher at a fancy Italian restaurant. I was, I was just fancy enough to like stay in the dish pit where no customers could see me. And being a dishwasher is like the only job where like the better you are at it, the worse you feel about yourself. <laughs> like I already have pretty low self-esteem to begin with. I don't want to blame being held back in first grade. This was before no child left behind. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was one of the last children left behind. <laughs> somebody becomes a serial killer? <laughs> like, if I ever become a serial killer, which I'm considering if I lose this contest. <laughs> like, I don't think it's going to be my mom's fault. It's more likely I think my sister led me to it. <laughs> my mom's more likely to lead me to, like, accidental tax fraud because she got me involved in one of her pyramid schemes. <laughs> Again. I don't know, I don't know what crime my dad will lead me to. I guess, I don't know, treason, maybe? I don't know why I said that. I'll ask my therapist and get back to you guys about that. Yeah. Speaking of crimes, I was in the attic of an old theater recently, or like five years ago when I wrote this joke. And I, I came across the, the crime against consumers. Do you guys remember fucking Big Mouth Billy Bass? <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> One clap, thank you. <laughs> it just reminded me that like America has a culture of been in like some pretty stupid fucking things. Like we're into like beanie babies, pet rocks, unnecessary wars. <laughs> We're also in the Furbies, which are just fucking creepy. <laughs> and in fact, like Furbies are like my fifth biggest fear. <laughs> After success, failure, the unknown, and my mom getting me involved in the pyramid scheme. <laughs> yeah. I'm Tim Miller. Thanks, everybody.